One of the interesting moments we find ourselves in now is that technology is again at that moment of offering a possible way of rethinking what it means to be human. How will we be? You know, what will distinguish us from the machinery? What will distinguish us from the technology? What will make us human? Those are kind of critical questions that are getting surfaced right now. And I think it raises some really interesting questions about what does make us human, about how we think about our essential selves, and also about what is the work we are willing to imagine that technology should and will do. And frankly, those are always different things, right? There's that notion that technology is just going to do all the drudgery tasks and liberate us to do the creative tasks. And then there's the reality of it, which is, in fact, it's always going to be a bit of a mix. But that sense of faint anxiety about what's the world going to be like, that's, um, in some ways, the most interesting thing. Part of what propelled me into Silicon Valley was that I wanted to build a better world, and I still do. But I know if you want to do that, you've got to have more people involved, and they've got to be people who have different backgrounds, different lived experiences, different skills, different aspirations, and different desires. And I think that problem is more acute than it's ever been, and the solution needs to be more urgent.